Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Today I wanted to review a uh, couple of boxes that are actually our cases that are going to help us uh, protect our uh, comm gear while we're out in the field. Um, the funny thing about these is these are actually meant for uh, holding cigars. All right, but uh, those of you that may be cigar smokers or no cigar smokers know how much uh, people invest into that hobby and uh, what their cigars mean to them. So uh, that should uh, bode well uh, for those of us that are wondering about the quality of these uh, boxes uh, to protect these uh, quote-unquote high-end cigars. Now, I've had these boxes for a couple years. Uh, initially, I, get, I uh, got the smaller one as a gift uh, for cigars. It was actually filled with cigars and uh, was going out into the field, and I was thinking, well, if these could protect the cigars and uh, keep them uh, away from the elements and crushing in the pack and so on and so forth, then pretty much anything else I would put in here would uh, follow suit. So I began uh, tinkering and putting uh, different comm gear inside of these boxes. Because when I did look around and look for uh, comm specific boxes and started putting a label on it, all of a sudden the price went up. So once again, I uh, reverted back to the uh, cigar version. I mean, the way I look at it, as long as the specs are there, uh, you could call it a Barbie doll uh, protection kit and I'll use it, right? Because I don't really care about the marketing plan. I care about its use and is it going to protect my gear. Uh, while I'm out in the field and uh, have my diamond antenna on the Yezu, which is the radio I, uh, I uh, prefer to use when I am portable, I uh, made this little, I had a buddy of mine actually, uh, made this little thing from scraps that he had around, uh, just basically a PVC uh, pipe cut to the specs or to the length that I needed for my antenna with a little cap. So as you can imagine, when uh, this antenna is not in use, or I decide to put more of a base camp antenna on there, uh, whether it's a Slim Jim, J-Pole, whatever the case may be, that I would use at the base station, I would take this one out, put it into my PVC, and I know that it's uh, uh, protected inside of my pack or wherever I put it. So we all know whether uh, communications are uh, a hobby for you, or if it's a, an emergency preparedness uh, aspect of your life, or if it's both, uh, this stuff isn't cheap. And when we look at it for emergency preparedness, we need to make sure that the gear is good to go and is going to work when we need it. Well, to, to address that issue, we need to be able to protect it. Uh, and that's why I'm reviewing a couple of these cases today. Once again, they were practical for me. Uh, they might be uh, good for you uh, as far as price, uh, construction. Uh, they're good to go because uh, for us, it's all about sharing information and uh, getting to that common goal of, uh, you know, being and in, in, in staying prepared. Now I'm going ahead looking inside, I have the smaller version, all right, which they call it, let's say, a five cigar holder. And uh, what's cool about these, not only is this construction uh, really good to go, comes with a little lanyard, um, but, uh, you know, being crush proof and all that. But once again, it has a little seal here uh, to keep it watertight. Uh, I could tell you from my experiences over the last few years that nothing inside of these cases have gotten wet when exposed to the elements. Um, hopefully you would have the same success, I would think. All right, so the smaller version, I'll keep uh, little batteries in here, chargers, um, you know, all sorts of stuff that I would need in the field. And of course it would change depending on my needs. Um, then we have this uh, deeper box here that they say is for 15 cigars, uh, is, uh, you know, what the specs is on this as far as if you're looking for measurement when comparing uh, apples to apples. So as you could tell, you have a heck of a lot more real estate to uh, store more of your gear in here, right? So just an example, all right, same specs, crush proof and watertight and you have your seals in here and all that so what i do like about both of these is they have that foam uh liner which helps protect more of the delicate gear um and keep it from uh you know damaging even further you know battling and uh banging around and, and rattling inside of here so both the bottom and the top have this uh foam padding all right which to me is uh, is definitely a plus but you still have the uh, the depth in there to be able to fit um extra ham radios antennas batteries all right all sorts of different uh spear batteries uh your ac adapter so if we're out in the field and we're using inverters or solar chargers um and once again uh spear antennas little adapters all the stuff that i would need all right yours is going to look different because you're going to have most likely different gear than i do uh so it's just all about the idea and when we're out there with our you know various uh, gps's uh two-way radios all of these stuff uh, as you guys know uh, unfortunately most of these adapters are not interchangeable so they're all going to need their own specific um you know dc adapter to be able to charge it and uh once again this helps keep the gear a lot of these things are finicky you know as you guys know you get a little bit of water in here or whatever it's done you know there goes your preparedness while you're in the uh, field so even though we spend all this money to get higher end gear or gear that we know is going to work for us all right so i don't care how much you spend money is money right we don't want to waste it um you're going to want to invest in something to protect it whether it's cases whether it's these guys 
or you know something else that's going to bode well for you. So these reviews are not only about um, showing different uh, aspects, all right, or, or different things to uh, think outside the box to protect your gear, um, but it's also to really just get you thinking and just say, wow, you know, maybe I didn't think about that, or maybe I didn't think about this, and then we all share information. And then what's cool about this is many people end up commenting on uh, on these posts and giving me advice and saying, hey, man, why don't you do it this way, or why don't you do it that way? Here's something else that, you know, you might want to bring up. So then I end up learning. So, uh, you know, it's not the above all say all here. I'm just sharing my experiences uh, with all of you, and uh, most of you end up reciprocating, which is great, because then I get to learn too, right? Which makes, it, uh, makes the effort that much more valid uh, in my eyes. So if you were to look inside of my pack, uh, just as an example, right, even I'm not really sure all the stuff I have in here right now uh, from the last uh, little outing that I went on, but similar stuff, okay, that's going to be in here. When I'm out in a field or whatever, you guys know how it is, you get a little bit tired, uh, you know, you're going through the paces, the elements might not be with you, uh, people are annoying you, uh, the, the, the weather, it's raining, whatever the case may be. So all of this type of stuff, what do you want to do, right? You want to access your gear, throw it in there, forget about it, close it up, seal it up, and do what you have to do. So that's one less thing that I have to worry about, right? This crucial, important gear that I have in here. Uh, and everything would be crucial that's out there, right? There's not one thing that's more important than the other because it's usually this uh, daisy chain that if you don't have one thing, you might say, oh, my radio is much more important than the battery. Yeah, well, guess what? If you don't have your battery, uh, you're not going to be able to use your radio. So everything is kind of inter interdependent. Uh, so something else, you know, to, to just keep in mind as we're trying to evaluate this stuff and decide, all right, you know what? This is probably about, you know, half a pound. This is a little bit over a pound. Is it worth carrying that extra gear out there or that extra weight? Uh, only you can decide that. Of course, for me, I'm going to bring this one and try to squeeze as much as I can into here so I don't have to double up, let's say, on the weight. And I might use uh, some other type of waterproof bag or whatever for other uh, type of gear that might just fit my pack better or also keep it uh, keep it a bit lighter. So obviously, I'm talking more about the uh, Calm gear application here, but this bodes well for obviously any electronics or anything that you're trying to uh, protect while you're in the field, uh, whether it's from the elements or whether it's from even from yourself or from people or even from animals. So bottom line, if you're looking for something that's relatively inexpensive for what it's protecting uh, and something that's credible uh, that you could count on, you know, you definitely want to uh, take a look at these uh, Herfador boxes. Uh, there's uh, many choices out there. These are the ones that I'm familiar with, and that's why I'm reviewing these. But it doesn't mean that you might not find something that might suit your new needs better or maybe even a uh, better budget. Uh, but so far from what I've seen and uh, from the preliminary searches that I did just checking before I even did this review uh, This definitely seems to be the uh, the best bang for your buck and once again I'm familiar with it because uh, I got to uh, to try it out But uh, it doesn't mean that your research won't find uh, something that uh, would be a better solution for you All right, so this is Helder W2NTC. Hope you enjoyed this review